Our fascination with poisons and toxins and venoms, I think, is very similar to our fascination with magic. These are mysterious things. That fascination, we want to try to capture that in the Power of Poison exhibit. Poison, toxin, effectively what we're talking about is some substance that interferes with a physiological process. I think often the word toxin is used to mean a poison produced by a living organism. But as scientists, we tend not to really think definitionally about toxin versus poison. We tend to think more in terms of how these substances actually interfere with physiology. Venom is fairly straightforward because venom is something delivered typically with some sort of anatomical device like a bite, spines, a sting, fangs. It's more about the way the toxic substance is delivered that makes something a venom or makes an animal venomous. I like to say that there's no such thing as a poisonous snake. You can eat snakes just fine. You probably shouldn't because many are endangered. Snakes that can hurt you tend to be venomous, not poisonous. Interestingly enough, we will use completely different terms like poisonous versus venomous for an organism, even though the toxin involved is the same. And a great example of that is tetrodotoxin. A toxin that's actually in a bunch of different organisms, you have terrestrial, freshwater, rough skin, newts, and organ, they concentrate tetrodotoxin in their skin. And they do it because garter snakes like to eat them. We think of them as being poisonous. But the blue-ringed octopus in the South Pacific, we think of as venomous because it delivers the toxic substance through a bite and yet it's exactly the same thing. It's tetrodotoxin. The human fascination with poisons and toxins and venoms is something that's very natural and we want to try to capture that fascination for all of us in the Power of Poison exhibit.